Hi, good evening. My name's Jason Debley, and tonight's whiskey review is a single malt scotch from the Speyside region of Scotland on the north bank of uh, the River Spey, to be specific. And it is dates back to the early 1800s, and it's worth noting that, you know, that's my cat Rex. Rex, off. It's actually it's not my cat, it's the wife's cat. Anyway, uh, Rex, where was I? It's on the north bank of the Speyside River, and uh, Cardew was established in the early 1800s. I can't remember exactly when, maybe around the 1830s, by uh, John and Helen Cumming. But it turns out that Helen was really the master distiller, and John was more... Uh, bringing in the, uh, for sourcing the barley. But Helen's daughter-in-law, and John's daughter-in-law, her name was Elizabeth, she really put Cardu as a distillery on the map. Now the cat is behind me. And, you can't make this stuff up. And, uh, she put it on the map, she expanded the distillery, and Johnny, John Walker and Sons were her biggest client because they used the Cardew single malt in all of their blended products. And that's true right down to today because when she retired in about 1893, this guy's name is Rex and uh, he's about two years old but he acts like he's a newborn or a kitten. So, she sold out to John Walker and Sons in, in about 1893 or somewhere around there, I can't remember, 1893. And since then it's been owned by John Walker and Sons and then later Diageo, who are the big multinational company that own a lot of big brands of single malts. What you need to know is that uh, Cardew, where I live, I can only find a 12-year-old uh, release. There's apparently a 15 and an 18 year old and maybe some other limited releases through the distillery visitor center but living in Canada I just see the 12 year old and really for years all I thought that existed was the 12 year old but I was wrong. I never see independent bottlers offering Cardew um, but maybe there is an agreement that they're not to disclose the name of the distillery some independent bottlers are able to use the name of the distillery. So, having that established, let's try it. You got some uh, artificial color going on. You've got chill filtration going on. 750 milliliter format. Um, fairly priced. It's not like super expensive. On the nose, it is light cherry, hints at oranges, apple blossom, a dusting of heather. The, uh, the aromas coming out of the glass are kind of light and ethereal. It's uh, not offensive. It's not peated or smoky in any way. Uh, on the palate, Creamy, dessert-like. I pick up a lot of sherry in this release. When I reviewed it years ago and tasted it years ago, I always remembered it being a bit more light Swiss milk chocolate of a style. But in this bottle that I have, it's good. It's not robust sherry, but there's a good treatment of sherry casks in this single malt. Like I can tell that the sherry casks sourced to age this spirit are good quality. It, very nice. So you get the, the sherry casks contribute to like a strawberry type of note. So you have strawberries, oranges, and a little bit of milk chocolate or hazelnut. I'm not picking up a lot of chocolate today, but normally you do. Elsewhere on the palate, there's a bit of like a custard 
type note. The finish is medium long. Although it starts out sweet by the finish, like all good single malts, it starts to be drying, a kind of pomegranate, uh, dry, cranberry, dry. The finish is almost in a way dominates the palate. And it's good. You know, this is this is a good, decent single malt. Um, if you like Belvany Double Wood, you would like this. Belvany Double Wood, to my mind, I haven't had it recently, but it tends to be lighter bodied, a little more sherried than this. So, if you like Glen Kinchy, 12 year old, Glen Kinchy is very light. This is, sits in between Glen Kinchy, 12 year old, and Belvany Double Wood, 12 year old. I wouldn't say this is not a sherry bomb, it's not pronounced sherry, but I do note some good strawberry notes that suggest good sherry cask treatment here. I recommend. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good single malt. And it when I drink it, I think of Johnny Walker products. Like, I, I taste a bit of Red Label here, in a good way. This is far better than Red Label. but. It's, it's a malt that is uh, very reminiscent of the, the Johnny Walker house because it's in a lot of their product. If you're new to whiskey, or it's going to be a gift for somebody who you know only drinks occasionally, Cardew 12 year old works and is recommended. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, next time I do a review, I've got a, I don't have it in front of me, but it's a Spanish brandy. And I, I saw it at the liquor store and I just thought I'd get it because it's totally different. I also have some bottles of port, but I keep drinking them. I was going to do a review on those. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Happy holidays.